Today we're going to be building a Cinesplore by FPV Cycle. Here I have all the parts laid out. The carbon for the frame, the hardware, the ducts and motors, the electronics, and some miscellaneous hardware. We'll start things off by taking four arms and the bottom plate. We're going to take the M2 bolts as well as the M3 bolts. We're going to take four of each the M2 bolts will go on the inside. The M3 bolts will go on the outside. With the press nuts on the top side, place the mid plate on the arms and tighten those down. Okay, next I'm going to put in four bolts that will mount the stack. Those will sit in the back of the frame. I'll slide four spacers over those bolts and I'll slide the 4-in-1 ESC right over them. Next, I'll be fitting the motors. I use four screws for each one. I've already cut and tinned these wires to save time, so I'll, now I'll just wire them up to the 4 one ESC. Once that's done, I'll take the camera and the included 3D printed mount. I'll screw in the M2 bolt into the camera and do the same for the other side. To mount the camera, I'll put two standoffs in the front of the frame with these shorter M3 bolts. Next, I'm going to solder up the harness for my VTX. The wiring will go ground, positive, smart audio or tramp telemetry in this case, and then video. Then I can install my flight controller and put the nuts on it. Now I'm going to take my video transmitter as well as the antenna and the 3D printed antenna mount and one M3 bolt. I've already slid the antenna through the 3D printed mount before I connected it to the VTX. And then I took a piece of heat shrink and trunk it around the UFL connector to prevent it from unplugging. Then I put a piece of double-sided sticky tape on the bottom. You can just press that into place. Make sure to leave some room for the middle standoffs. For the power wire, I cut this piece of XC60 and I tinned it and soldered it to the ESC and added a capacitor. Next, I'm going to wire up my Crossfire Nano. From the bottom up, it's ground, five volts and signal. I attached my Immortal T antenna and put a piece of heat shrink over it. I intentionally left this piece of heat shrink loose so I could take it off if I need to. I stuck it down onto the top of the flight controller with some double-sided tape and I plugged it into the flight controller. Next, I'm going to take the camera plug and plug one end into the camera and the other end into the flight controller. Then I'll take another N3 bolt and thread it through the standoff. Do note that the standoff slides through the carbon and touches the bottom plate. Then I'll add the rear standoffs and zip tie my Immortal T using two zip ties to them. Okay, let's hop into Emu Flight and we'll do the configuration. The first step is to plug your flight controller into USB and then we'll hit connect. Once you're connected, go into the CLI and type version, hit enter. Take note of your flight controller's firmware. Then type BL, then hit enter. Next, go into the update firmware section. Select your firmware, select the correct version, make sure no reboot sequence is enabled, and enable full chip erase. Hit load firmware online, then click flash. Then connect. Then go into the configuration. And if you need to, set your flight controller orientation to be correct. In my case, it was counterclockwise 90 degrees. Then hit save and reboot. Next, go into your ports. On this flight controller, my serial RX is enabled in UART2, and my Tramp VTX control is on UART5. But check the wiring of your flight controller for the correct UART, then hit save and reboot. Next, go into the configuration. Set your ESC motor protocol. 
gyro update frequency and PID loop frequency. Make sure your arming angle is set to 180 degrees. Set your serial provider to Crossfire if you're using a Crossfire receiver and SBUS if you're using an FR Sky receiver. Next, I like to turn on DSHOT beacon configuration, then hit save and reboot. Moving on to the PID tuning tab, I'm going to put in these PIDs. Go ahead and copy them if your build is identical to mine. And I'm going to put in my rates. Then I'm going to adjust the dynamic rates. Then I'll go into my filter settings. And again, if your drone is identical to mine, you can use these settings. Hit save. Next, I'll go into the receiver tab. I'm assuming your receiver is bound at this point. If it is not, check the manual that the receiver came with on how to do that. Plug in a battery if you need to. Make sure your props are off for this. And then I'll set my channel map to be T-A-E-R since I'm using an FR Sky transmitter. And I have RSSI set up on AUX8, so I'll set that. Next, I'll set up my modes. I like to use arm, angle mode, beeper, turtle mode, as well as pit mode, then hit save. Then I'll go into the motors tab and make sure my motor direction and order is correct. Spin up each motor, make sure it spins according to the diagram. In my case, I had to change my motor order. I'll leave a link in the video description on how to do this. Next, I'll go into my OSD and set the on-screen elements that I like to use. Hit save. And that wraps up our setup. I'll take my countersunk M3 bolts, put them on the back four standoffs of the top plate. Then I can tighten down my antenna mount with the M3 bolt. Next, I'm going to take two of the shorter M3 bolts and put them through my 3D printed mount for my GoPro into the front two standoffs. Once that's done, I can work on the ducts. And what you need to do for these is take a soldering iron, pick up one of the brass inserts with the soldering iron, and melt it into the duct. Repeat this for all three holes on all four ducts. To secure those ducts, I'm going to use the M2 bolts and thread those through the inserts on the 3D printed ducts and repeat that for all four ducts. And now I'm going to add my props, my GoPro strap, Velcro on top of my GoPro mount. Be sure to heat up the Velcro adhesive so it sticks well. I'll add a battery and my GoPro. And we'll stick it on the scales and it comes out to 573 grams, all up weight, 248 dry. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.